Oh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Poland. And in this episode, we are attacking Crimea to take it away from the Crimean Khanate. And I think this will give us access to the first trade port of the Empire. So I'm pretty sure... Oh, actually no, sorry, that's not true. Berlin has one. But either way, uh, it means that we may be able to get access to more trade routes and grow our economy even faster. So let's get on and attack the city. The enemy has mortars, so we will want to advance pretty quickly. Uh, but the main thing with Crimea is that it's quite... I believe the religious makeup is majority... Well, I can't, well, I can't remember which way around it is, but there's definitely... It's a split between uh, Orthodox and and Islam, Islam. So we want to make sure that we... We probably have to garrison the city for a while after we capture it, because the public order is probably going to be reasonably bad and and slash or get a religious building built but i don't think we're going to get that opportunity so my line is going to run forward quickly to get within within their uh, mortifier range one unit of pikes is going to stay back as a actually no they're not they're going to push up with us at speed the pike you know pikemen are usually a target for enemy mortars we have a large cavalry contingent I want to exploit. Let's get my general involved. Right, get ready. Not going to worry about laying my line out. Make them run. Just advance at speed. So a couple of their units are sat back in defensive positions. That's great. We can get to, we can, we can work on their uh, forward troops and destroy them in turn. Uh, and then we can deal with the troops behind us. Oh, on the guns. Yeah, demi cannons are just not very good. Pokemon just push the flanks. Start to isolate these forward units. My Fasars can hold, my Lancers get in here. So there we go, the gunfire's kicked in, fire by rank. It's doing its glorious work. Second rank, fire! Third rank, fire! forward and take them out. These units focus on the next block of infantry. Artillery engage the units that are dug in. Cavalry is going to mow down these routing troops. My infantry is going to advance. Okay, keep pushing. Yeah, my cavalry just hoover, hoover up the enemy to try and get some more experience. Don't go after that unit because you're not going to get them. We're not worried about trying to uh, annihilate the troops. 
because the enemy will be destroyed once the city is taken anyway. The provincial cavalry is doing good work. The lancers, everyone's gaining experience, which is nice. My hussars have yet to be deployed. Demi cannons are firing. I've only got one kill. I'm engaging my pikes at the moment, but the intention is to ignore them a bit. Let's run them on past. You keep killing the provincial militia. This cavalry advance up to the rear. So once we get into position, they're probably going to abandon the position. They're being fired upon from a direction they are not covered. Second auto is wavering. Shots. This guy's the only guy that sees the danger behind them. There we go. Cavalry charge the last unit. You run through the cavalry, don't charge, you manage to kill them all. Should we really check what the Polish the Polish light hussars look like? They look pretty awesome. Well, they, they might run through the second order first. Let's see if they can rapidly get some kills and get a first chevron experience. Nope. Okay, charge. Charge the third auto. Cease fire the artillery. Bring up the pikemen. There we go. The hussar have gained a chevron of experience. Venture cavalry done really well. Nice. Okay, that's the garrison of. Crimea annihilated. Now let's see how much they hate us and see if we can get any new trade opportunities. They really don't like us. Let's exempt them from tax. Let's... I mean, ideally we don't want this government building, but we can't really do anything about it until we actually get some uh, public order. Let's get you guys combined. Let's take the provincial cavalry out to garrison Sevastopol. Now, yes, trade. Right, Marathas, let's try trade with you. No, I'm not sending you square formation. Portugal, because you're friendly with Britain. Well, you were. Oh no, you lost, you broke your alliance with Britain before. And then let's trade with the 13 colony. Nope, they're not interested. Moogles then, I guess. Eh, what the heck, they're probably going to get squashed by the Marathas anyway in the short term. What's that done for our economy? 6,600, not bad. Well, they were trading with the Moogles, but they're being blockaded. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, you have to hold and develop. Make sure develop Crimea so that it's secure. And this force. Advancing on Sofia. So we could go for Belgrade, but the main thing is I want to try and bottle up the Aust you know, limit the Austrians' expansion into the Balkans. And so really I want Istanbul's the priority here. So I'll take Sofia, Istanbul, stabilize it when I can go for Athens. I probably want to make sure I'm on good terms with. Venice, we are very friendly. Great. Okay, let's take Sophia from the Ottoman Empire. So then this will 
him in the Austrian Empire, or the limits of the Austrian Empire in the Balkans. That's what we really want to do, because it appears that now we're both at war with the Ottomans. Uh, they are pushing into that territory fast, and we want to make sure that we're doing it faster. So guns on the high ground, just engage. Let's split our force to flank around both sides of the town. We can send new units plus pikemen to push through the town. Militia go around on the right. Split the cavalry up in either flank. General, just watch. Where's the garrison Islamic sword and then? This heavy infantry advancing to town at speed. Get these units to push around the flank where the enemy has massed most of their forces. Artillery can engage. Well, engage the garrison Islamic swordsmen. You've got eyes on them. See them in the town. He hits. Good hit, sir. The Marines, those Marines are flagging. Get them to wrap. Okay, let's push this infantry up to secure this flank of the town square. Engineers and the Marines up as backup. You men hold this corner. Entry advance. Cavalry keep pushing up. The garrison Islamic swordsmen made. I thought they might deploy to defend the uh, mortars, but apparently not. Here come the Polish engineers. Should really go have a look at the Polish Marines as well, but they look pretty standard for Marines. Let's get the Polish Marines out to here. Oop, one second. Jesus. Right. Oh no, I accidentally clicked off the screen. Second monitors. When you get far too keen. Okay, so we killed the we kill the mortars. We can advance aggressively up into their faces. Okay, here come the enemy troops. Let's get my general into the town. The Marines are in single file. Yeah, they are going to very nicely allow themselves to get trapped in the city. Marines bayonet charge the Israelis. You men bayonet charge the Islamic swordsmen. Yeah, they're routing as well now. They were they were weak. They're shattered. Holy moly! 
Where am I the stars? Get them in here. So we've surrounded Tula Viserides. Chemage Janissaries. The engineers go after them. Kill a bunch of those Islamic swordsmen. Pikemen are stuck at the back for now. Bring my lances in here. I want them to spear the tenth auto in the rear. Not worried about the fire lock on populace. Janissaries. Second Lancers. Go for the Tenth Order. They feel like they're winning. The Lancers will show them they are wrong. A good charge. to them. The charge into the Janissaries, send infantry to back them up. There's a good Janissaries, they're just isolated. It's their problem. Nice. Very nice. So that is Bulgaria taken as well. This shouldn't take as long to stabilize. Okay, let's get the government building rebuilt. Let's get the army rebuilt. Try to. Then let's start to reorganize our force to push on towards Istanbul. We need to be. We need to. We have exploded out of the gate now, uh, but we want to do it so that so that we lose minimal territory to the Austrians. And let's hit enter. So we've got this crazy scenario where London owns, well, France owns London and Britain owns Madrid. It's a bit crackers. We start, yeah, Austria building up troops in the Balkans. So we want to, we do want to get into a position where we can um, muscle them out of the picture. So we're in a position to take Istanbul pretty rapidly. Then we can move on and take Athens. And if we take those two territories, we hold the power of the in the Balkans. The rest of it doesn't really we don't need to worry about. Courland are on their way. Barbary states are sailing ships out to the west. They're not bothering us though, that's very nice. I think we soon might be able to... Well, you know what we might be able to point to do, really? Potentially build an army for a colonial invasion. 7,200. Let's get the mine built. I think we want to start... Repair this craft workshop and build the mine here those are quite cheap but really good upgrades okay i think we're not in it we're not at a point yet but we need to worry about booming the well we do, don't think we need to worry about growing more producing more um towns yet i don't believe that's the case 12 turns till chizaki is done Let's send our agent up to try and assassinate this Ottoman agent. So Istanbul, they've got an army, but it's not really a good army. You just need to keep replenishing. Our election results are positive. All of our ministers are still good. Awesome. 
Uh, don't come after us, Britain. Oh, they've retaken London. Okay, so London owns like their home islands and Madrid. Not a bad state of affairs. The Ottomans are trying to reinforce the Balkans to the west. I mean, ultimately, if I can take out Istanbul and Greece, I think I'd be happy at that point to call a peace with the Ottomans. That's quite a really good territory grab for us. Knights of St. John keeping the Mediterranean free of Barbary scam. Yeah, I think our trade with the Mughals is, it might not necessarily be enough to, to alter the balance of power. In the future turns, we may have a spare trade slot. Well, the Barbary States are raiding the west coast of France. No, not Portugal, that's where my ships are going. Oh, you scallywags. 7,300, a new barracks in Ukraine. That's awesome. Let's upgrade the governor's residence. Get you guys replenishing immediately. Step out of Bru Bul out of Bulgaria and you can handle it. Let's get a unit of grenadiers, a unit of expat infantry, and a unit of warband. Great. Let's upgrade you to upgrade um, the roads in Bulgaria to cobbled roads at least. They can wait near. Ultimately, they might be able to siege Ukraine, um, Istanbul soon. We've got a lot of farm upgrades, but we don't we don't necessarily need to worry about boosting towns yet. I mean, the only the only um, counter to that is Crimea. Actually, let's probably upgrade this town out here, this farm out here. It's abundant yield, and also it's further away, so it's less likely for the rebels to... Actually, I've even upgraded the... Oh no, they broke that in a rebellion. That's five. Upgrade the farms. Let's try to get a church school built. When they rebel and we kill the rebels, they will come round to our way of thinking. Eight turns till the town grows in Vilnius. Okay, let's grow. Let's upgrade one farm here. Still converting the population at Konigsberg. Ultimately, though, that is a low priority area. We probably want to get you over here sooner rather than later. Rioting in Crimea. It's unfortunate, but there's not a lot we can do. So, we want to get on to the military academy. And that gets us really cool units. Polish Hussar Guards, Polish Trabant Cavalry. National Cavalry, Line Infantry Guards. Sharpshooters, Grenadier Guards. I mean, obviously, once we've got the re required technologies. But I think we are going to make sure we... One of these universities is going to prioritise this military track. But let's hit end turn. So let's see if Britain can stabilise Madrid enough that they can actually do something with it. Yeah, come on. here comes Austrian armies. They're pushing into the Balkans. This is why we don't want to hang about as much as we can. And they're generating some serious combat power and sending it into theatre, which we don't. We, could, we, we don't necessarily want to get into war with the Austrians at the moment. We just, we're kind of both... Um, Patting each other on the back, going, "Oh, well done, bro. Well done. That's great." While secretly going, "Oh, for God's sake, why are we? 
That sucks. Every territory we take is one they can't take, and vice versa. Poland's on the march. I mean, it looks like they want. They also want to go after Istanbul. I mean, we want to take it, but I don't know if we'd be able to take it in a full-on assault with one unit of demi cannons. No, my agent was executed. Ooh, Michael Pinipiek. One plus one treasury plus two justice. Alright, this guy's got minus one treasury, so you can't really swap them. You're just a sick treasury minister. Great. Okay, a couple of basic mines. Uh, troops are being recruited in Ukraine. We might actually be quicker to take them down to the coast. Recruit a light galley and ship them across next turn. Minus five, yeah, you've rebelled. I mean, you shouldn't raid there. I think we're going to lay siege to them, but not necessarily attack. If the call and attack, we won't back them up. The only thing that I worry about is Guido von Starnberg. He's on the way. This is Ukraine, get better roads. Upgrade the iron mine to a steam pumped iron mine. Don't need to worry about towns here yet. And this uh, farm upgrade would be useful to make to try and speed up uh, memel growing. 318. Okay, this might be the start of the army that moves into the Americas. But then who would be our target? Oh, I suppose it'd be the pirates. Land and take Antigua and Trinidad as a foothold for our empire and start the trade of new goods because everything else is currently in good shape. Okay, next turn we've got uh, cadence marching being completed. We can get the next military technology. Well, we get socket bayonets and just just speed run that um, military research tree. They got a lot of troops. Ooh, they're sallying out to try and attack us. Fair play. Uh, let's do this, Ottomans. On your own head, be it. So it's a bit dicey. They got a, they got a good amount of troops, um, but we got fire by rank. If we deploy back, their mortars won't be, won't be able to have an effect. And then next turn, we will be reinforced by a couple of elite units of infantry. So that won't work out well for them either. They have to do this because they have no choice. And Istanbul is going to be another territory that's going to take us a bit of time to gather our strength. Okay. So, the strategy here is almost always just deploy back, let them come to you. It, it makes no sense to just let their howitzers get loads of free kills against you. 
and their mortars, sorry, unless they deploy, like, right up in New York. If they do, if the howitzers, mortars deploy outside, then sure, pushing makes sense. But until they do that, you know, it's a lot, you're a lot better off just letting them, forcing them to push towards you. Like in this case, those mortars here. They're going to abandon their guns. So if I take my pikemen, move them over more to here, because that's where the... Oops, forgot about my engineers. I forgot about them because they're kind of useless. Yeah, they, those mortar crews are going to abandon their guns because they're fixed. And then they'll come after us. My guns to attack this block of infantry. Get a few kills. I say a few kills, that was a lot of kills. But it looks like they're going to do a bit of fidgeting around. A few more kills. Yeah, that's a good, a good amount of kills. Here we go. They've been forced to push us. Make sure we get the pikes up here because there's quite a significant balance of enemy strength on the right, and we don't really have the strength here to stop them. Bring my hussars back to the safety of my line infantry because here come camels. The camels will deal with my light cavalry pretty quick. Ultimately, I probably want my hussars up here as well. Okay, who are you after? So very nicely riding along my front. break. There we go. You can kill as many as you can because they can take a lot of damage. When the unit's broken, it takes almost nothing to kill a unit. Cavalry positioned further away. Arm oh, popular, is that there? That's probably. That might be the commander of one of the reinforcing units. Here they come again. It's a really, it's a really. I mean, we got fired by ranks, so. I'd watch out if I were you, Buster. Here they come again. I think the second regiment's engaging me, so really. They are. Camel Nomads just took a good chunk of it. Eight foot guards, fire when ready. and the Zars, so you need to make sure get ready to push out to deal with them. Or we might just swing the left wing forward. 
They're still manning their mortars in the, in the city. I suppose that's their, that is their general. Engaging the second order of Israeli. Good hits. You know, spin your fire right against the tent. Spin the flank around. Yeah. Enemy are committing their strength here. Although a good chunk of them are wave are routing, so that's good. My gun's engaging. of the enemy the enemy flank is going to fold pretty rapidly the garrison is landing swords actually let's get you guys in here as a actually no the camels are coming if we can get the camels my cavalry can make merry with the rear of their formation kind of shots are coming in here and flaying these guys trying to attack my marines over now and now we're in the melee things are going to get awfully bad for you artillery keep engaging the threat close by charge to them. Shattered, shattered, shattered. So many casualties. Gunners, switch fire against the town. Charge the 11th. There we go. Yep, he did not like this at all. Devastating cavalry charge. So damn effective. My veteran cavalry. At some point, though, we must recall the cavalry. Unless they get within range of the enemy <laughs> mortars. Um, but they got to level 3 veteran C, that's pretty good. Okay, we're going to knock the wall down so we can send a cavalry unit in to charge the, charge the uh, artillery unit themselves. Bring the pikemen back. Oops, sorry. Realise there was a union actually in range. Populous coming back. Tenth. Quarter. I mean, these guys are just got caught up in that cavalry charge. They're definitely done. A couple of units of Israeli still coming back. General has been killed to a lucky bullet. Spread him out. The 
spin those guns around. Marines reload, and they've got to deal with the threat to their right. Present. Fire. Oh no, they broke. Ooh, Garrison Azar units completely untouched. Charge the pikemen in, they are horrendously outnumbered. And that's what the cavalry are for. Okay, you guys can deal with this. Yeah, they are actually upset. Hit them! Get the lances. The second grand charge of the day. Bring in the Dissars as well. Bring the cavalry away. Getting involved in the slug fest. Come on, kill them. There we go. Twelve quarter. Focus on them. Reload. Push my militia forward. Just try to do a lot of damage to this unit of so really. Then we'll blow a hole in the wall and then deal with the mortars. Hello, the, okay, you got him. Let's aim at the wall with round shot. Okay, let's speed up time. There's a few ways we could do it. It could take a militia unit. They're going to try and climb the gate so we can just run in and deal with them. Just kill the unit of Israeli. Nice. Gain triple veterancy for my Hussars. At some point, their guns are going to start firing. Let's see fired artillery. They might. I don't think they'll be needed. Ooh, they might be needed. If you can scale the walls, capture the gates, and just run in, that'd be super. But it's entirely possible they might make you break before that happens. Not if they use explosive shells, it won't. Yep, explosive shells are rubbish. They are real bad. May as well just have carried on hitting me with round shot. Round shot's really good for defensive mortar units, especially AI mortar units. It's always a bit hit or miss with when it's, when it's me using it. Okay, apart from that, Russia, our great ally, your flanks are secure. Attack the Swedes. Don't worry about us, we are your friend. I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, so Brit. So now France has taken Madrid. 
So we've got quite a strong French Empire to our west. Interesting. Look at the Crimea rebels. Don't really care about you. Excellent, hop back into the city. There's my priests. They're on the way. Minus two. Yeah, soon you will you won't actually mind that we run your country and then your strength will deplete. Agent recruited. We have a rake in the Viv. Go down to Athens. See what goes on here. Great gains. Brave soldier. Yep, you're doing pretty good. Still just, just besiege the city. Austria is not an immediate concern. So we've got Cadence marching. They've gone on to Carbines. No, go on to Socket Bayonet, please. Three more turns till we get utilitarianism and then we can research a classical or build classical universities. Koningsberg, let's get cobbled roads. Upgrade the craft workshops here to an iron workshop. Upgrade this port to a commercial port, or we might be better off doing that in Germany. Okay, I think. Don't take everybody. We take some of our troops, and next turn we will put you into a boat, or we were in a boat, and then you will be ready to sail off to the new world and hope we don't get attacked by anybody. Okay, 845, we could probably stand to upgrade a farm. Maybe in my home territories. Who is my most... Which region is my most valuable region? Brandenburg. Unsurprising. Konigsberg's. Konigsberg's pretty good. Growing at 21 gold a turn. Brandenburg's going, growing at 25 though. So it's extending the lead. Poland. It's growing at 25. But they don't have any access to um, trade ports. But they do have two more... Two towns to, do, to grow. So that's pretty good. Apart from that, everything's pretty nice. You've got a few, in a few turns, we're going to have a handful more, um, a handful more towns to upgrade. So Madrid has rebelled, and it's now immediately back in the hands of Spain. So France was able, were unable to control it, and the madness that was happened earlier, it's all balanced out again. At some point, I'm going to have to send someone to deal with that Swedish army that's just running around annihilating the Courland economy. Well, the Mughals have taken um, Karnataka. That's pretty good. Uh, no, I don't want an alliance, but we can swap tax. So they gave me improved grenades, which means I can research next level artillery technologies. So that's a pretty good get for us. Barbary states shouldn't be able to kill us in a fifth raid because lots of their raiders' ships are quite small. Mm -hmm. Although they do have a lot of ships. So they very, very helpfully wandered within range of the, of the garrison. So let's deal, deal with them. Yes, we do want to intercept them. 
Let's do a lot of damage. Well, I mean, this might we might be able to end the uh, the rebel threat right now, which would be super useful. All right, let's get set up, and then we're going to march. March on the enemy. We do want to try and kill as many of them as we can. I mean, look at this glorious army right here. Very much up to strength. Very much technically much more advanced than the rebel that we're up against. Let's try and advance and surround the enemy. Advance with speed. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, my grand is. Let's get you in. Yeah, push my front line up. Uh, let's maybe use my howitzers to engage their cavalry more than their artillery. Their line infantry is not going to be the same standard as ours. Get in position, my friends. The enemy must be annihilated. be quite aggressive. Let's start advancing with an idea of surrounding the enemy. Enemy gunners are upset. Get into position, you men. Yeah, the gunners are right over broken. Pike meant to target the cavalry. Yeah, their infantry is just getting mowed down. Advance on them. Go get them, pikes. Infantry broken. This unit is holding. Yeah, don't go into don't go into melee with them. Yeah, the Tata, yeah, the cavalry have gone. You go for the the gunners. Actually, maybe go for the this unit of infantry. Everybody else sees fire. The gunners are over here somewhere, so it kind of doesn't make sense to chase after them if we've got a full infantry unit we can annihilate in their place. And that's the gunners there escaping. Pretty, pretty bad rebellion that you've managed to get yourselves involved in right here.
that should be their entire rebel army destroyed. Should be, and then the people will love us. Ah. Uh, they don't su they're not super fans of us, but I think if we just take a chunk of guys, get out there, destroy the remnants of their army. Dispatch the Polish cavalry to kill them. Excellent. So then everybody get back to the city. Yeah, it's still a bit grumpy, but I think once we're fully garrisoning the city again, things will brighten up quite nicely. Okay, let's get government chambers built here. Okay, let's maybe build another fifth rate just to make sure they're safe. We don't need to worry about Brandenburg yet. Upgrade the government building in Sofia. Okay, mostly it does just look like it's time to upgrade farms. Try and focus on the farms in my safer areas. Down to circa 600. Everybody combine here. Great. Excellent. Your government chambers is maxed out. Nine turns till we get Pinsk. Stannis Law. I mean, you're just a great general. Polish heritage. Nice. A raid in the mines, but that was the rebels. Okay, let's hit end turn. There we go. It's time to convert the people to Catholicism. When we start getting more... Well, in, in the next, you know, dozen turns or so, we're going to have a lot more towns growing, which means our economy is going to explode. I think once we've taken Istanbul and Greece, we're going to be in the money. And then I think we can effectively focus on just bolstering our European empire and focus on colonial expansion and growth into the trade regions, I think. Knights and John are warring with our enemies at sea. The Mughals, oh, they've lost Kalatska. Yeah, the, the Mughals are gradually now starting to get pushed northward. Portugal are growing their strength. They're going to getting ready to be invaded by Spain again. Entirely possible. states are continuing to harass the Mediterranean. Good upgrades. Trade gains. Capitalist for Mr. Pilicic. Plus two treasury. Oh, I might have to... This will be plus two treasury. Plus two treasury. He's, he's, I mean, he's perfect for where he is. He's great. 74% popularity. He's not going anywhere in the next election for now. Workers on strike in Crimea. But when you guys all get in. There we go. See, they don't mind. We can even tax you. And the growth of Catholicism is never ending. Good, good, good. What we're up to 11,000 on the income. That's awesome. Yeah, there's not a huge amount we can upgrade. Let's probably do a bit of growth in Vilnius just to keep our military production up. Probably the same at Berlin. 
because they're on the front line. Other than that, let's get some roads built. We'll get some um, farms built, rather. I'm not so worried about you heading our way, Mr. Von Starenberg. Greece has no walls, so when the garrison here eventually falls or just, you know, cannot hold out any longer, we can make our move. 402 gold, nothing, nothing we can do. Next turn we can start upgrading our universities. And I think this turn our other fifth rate should be ready so we will be able to send our army to the new world without worrying as much about our armies being destroyed. But yeah, I think if we take Istanbul and Greece, we can make a peace with the Ottomans. We could potentially invade North Africa, but I'm, I'd be really tempted to take those regions. Ah, oh, the garrison at Istanbul are sallying. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Poland. Cheers, everyone.